So the texture of release, I left it on longer on the bottom half. Of hmm. Hey, 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 back with another video today. Hope you're all okay. So I'm back with a two year lock anniversary. Woo! I can't believe I've made it to two years. I actually cannot believe it. To be honest, I didn't think I would make it here. Mm. I didn't think I would make it here only because I thought I would get bored. I thought I'd get bored. I thought I'd comb them out. I just thought, yeah, I thought I would get bored. Made it. We made it. We made it. And I'm so glad I made it. I'm so glad. I thought my hair would be different at two years. I thought it would be different than, than how it is. But, but yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy that I made it this far. Although I thought it would be different, that doesn't mean I'm very unhappy with how it is. I just thought it would be different. That's it. So the first thing I want to talk about is my rotations. I'm still on a two point rotation, but when I had my hair done in Barbados, the first time I went to a loctician, she did a I think she did a three point rotation. And I don't know if that's gonna make much difference to my hair because my hair texture and my hair type from 4C. So my, my curls are quite tight. My coils are quite tight. So I don't really think it will make a lot of difference what rotation I do. So she did a three point rotation. I'm probably going to go back to doing the two if I retie them myself. But if I find another loctician in the UK, in Leicester, or in London, then I will just let them do what they want, basically. Because there is this loctician who I found in London. I only found her as I watch. What's her name? I watch if they in. Ife Yinwa. Ife Yinwa. I watch Ife Yinwa on YouTube. She's Nigerian. She does micro lock videos. She does lifestyle videos, fashion, trends, food, travel vlogs. She does a lot of vlogs and I love her channel. But yeah, I found this lock, this particular loctician through Ife Yinwa. So I'm planning on visiting her on my next retie or on my retie yeah i think my next retie in november and then in december i want some braids or a wig or something like that for the holiday season so so yeah the first thing is i'm still on a two-point rotation my second thing i wanted to talk about was wash days i love a wash day i wash my hair probably once a week to be honest, if I could wash my hair twice a week, I, twice a week I would, just because I love feeling the water in my scalp. Um, wash days are so easy, so quick, so convenient, so relaxing. It's so easy. All I do is put water throughout my hair, get my shampoo of choice, wash my scalp first, wash my scalp, rinse it off, scrub my scalp again, and then I will wash the length of my hair. I try and squeeze the shampoo into my hair, squeeze it in, and also, I also squeeze it like this to try and get all the gunk out of my hair. And that's it. Once I rinse it out, I rinse it out like this as well under the water to make sure all the shampoo is out so I don't get any build up. Once I've shampooed my hair, I will condition. So, 
it's a bit confusing with conditioners because I want to condition to make sure my hair is moisturized, but I don't want to condition it and cause buildup. So I have tried to dilute my conditioners with water and then it's just got a looser consistency so it doesn't get stuck inside my locks. That's helped, but I do love conditioning my hair because it feels softer. It feels a lot softer, feels moisturized and it looks shinier, which I love as well. And then once I have shampooed, conditioned, I'll add some oil. I love castor oil. This is Jamaican mango and lime. It's extra dark, extra dark. This one's from Barbados actually. Make sure I don't waste nothing. Yeah, this one's from Barbados. So I'm glad I got that. I wish I got two of them actually. Yeah, I'm glad I got that. So I'll put that on my scalp. And I'll also put it on the length of my hair. But I've heard using an extra sticky cast, using an extra sticky oil can make your hair sticky, which can lead to lint and fluff getting trapped in your locks, which I didn't really think about. But I do love this. It adds shine and it helps with hair growth as well. And it strengthens my hair and, mo and seals in the moisture from washing my hair so so yeah I think I will continue to use that until it's gone I was using rose water but I've run out <laughs> and I did enjoy using rose water because it smells so nice the fragrance in my hair when I use rose water is beautiful but it ran out and I haven't brought any more and I feel like it is quite pricey for the oil i mean the rose water i was using rose water and glycerin but it's all gone so it's just normal water in here but i was using it on my hair and then my son started to use it and my daughter used it as well well i gave i put it on my daughter's hair just because it made her hair smell so nice and then once i've used it on all three of us it runs out so quick so so yeah that's the second thing that is my shampoo and conditioner routine another thing i wanted to talk about was the journey itself well I'll, I'll tell you how i initially installed them so i installed them with the two strand twists and when i installed them i tried to follow kiki j I tried to follow her video and how she installed them. So I went row by row, started at the nape of my head. I went row by row, tried to do them small, not too small like sister locks, but small enough that I could, in my eyes, I could do more styles with them. So I did row by row, I, yeah. So first row. Oh, is this one that's on the same? Okay, that's the first row. And the second row. That is the second row. And the third row. I think that's the third row, was that? I don't know which row is which now, but I just went row by row. Went row by row until I got to the middle section. I tried to do the bricklayer method. So you know when you do braids or twists, you do twists on a row and then you part you do one twist here, you do a part. Another twist, do a part. Another twist, do a part. But then on the row above, you do brick layers. You don't lay each part directly on top of the other one so it just looks like normal squares. 
you do it in brick so it's so it slants so the hair will fall between the parts so your hair will look fuller so that's why i decided to do brick layers i always do brick layers even in my daughter's hair i do brick layers just because it looks fuller so that's what i did and then when i got to the top i split this section here this section here and then i started from here i did a part here and there's another part actually i'll just take it out just take it out okay okay so i started i did a part and then i did another part Then I did another part and then another one and another and another. and then I parted I did a part down the middle but I have realised I've got one lock in the middle of my head so that's annoying there's nothing I can do now so yeah then I did this is my middle part oh no that's my middle part yeah, I made sure I had a middle part. And then from the middle part, I finished that side and then I started with this side. So I did a part and a part. And a part. All different parts like that. Yeah. That's how I installed my micro locks. I have no well no, I didn't notice. Actually, no, I did notice this. I've noticed all my locks are different sizes. And when I went to the loctician, she noticed they're all different sizes as well. Which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. Because before, before the sister lock grid, before perfect, neat, clean parts, people would freeform their locks. And people would just do parts, twist, 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 twist. twist. It wouldn't be perfect and symmetrical and all my locks have to be exactly the same size and all my locks have to be exactly the same measurement. It wasn't it wasn't like that. Well, some people may have been like that, but there wasn't this whole move on social media to have these perfect clean parts and perfect retwists, things like that. So my locks, I'm not too fussed about the, all the sizes being different anymore. I used to be... Yeah, it used to bother me. I used to think, oh, I should have done sister locks, then all my locks would have been perfect. But I am still proud of myself because I installed these on my head myself. And yeah, oh, I get proud of myself for that. I am, I am. One, one of the things I wanted to, I wanted to mention about you know earlier when I said I thought my locks would be different by now is the length and the fullness I thought at two years they might be down here maybe to my chest I'll do a 360 for you but this is how long they are which isn't too bad to be fair they're here. They never used to touch my shoulders. So they're touching my shoulders. And my fringe. My fringe is here. I can insert a video or a picture of how short my fringe used to be when I started 
two years ago. I'll show you a, vid a clip of how my hair was two years ago versus now. So I'll do a side by side. But that's how long my fringe is. Do the part. Okay. Yep. So I am. Yeah. I would love. Actually, I'm not going to. I was going to put this through my hair, but I might not. Actually, I might. And I'll wash it later. Yeah. I would love. I would love my hair to be back here I can't wait for that I can't wait and I can't wait for my fringe to be uh, to my chin so then when it's to my chin I can put my strands down to my chin and then have a bun up here or have a bun to the back because when I've got braids I love having two strands down here so that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm also looking forward to my hair getting longer so I can do braid outs. Well, I can already do a braid out and my hair looks really, really nice curly. But yeah, my hair looks really nice curly. But But I feel like it doesn't look full when it's curly. That's why I never wear it down. Even when it's straight, I don't wear my hair down. It's always half up, half down, or it's just in a bun, or it's in a ponytail to the back. I never wear my hair down. But I should start. And I feel like when I'm, when I've got some more length, that's when I wear it down. But I don't want to always be waiting for something to happen. Oh, when I get some more length, I'll wear it down. Or when it's more full, I'll wear it down. No, I just want to wear it down now. <laughs> but yeah, I never wear it like this. Never. This is the middle part. I never wear it like this side part never wear it like this either I never wear it to the side but I feel like I should but I don't and if I wear if I wore my hair down more often I wouldn't be putting any tension on my edges because having it up all the time my edges will definitely get thinner. And they're already getting thin. Because this side, this side's definitely thinner. Since, well, since I had Nola in 2020, this side of my hair has got thin. And this side of my hair's got thin, just here. And one of my locks doesn't seem to grow. This lock here does not grow. And I can tell this lock is tender. So, let's put some of this on there. There's only one thing I don't like about Jamaican black castor oil and that's the smell. Ooh, I don't like the smell at all. So I'll massage that in. That feels so good. Yeah, so that's one thing about me is I love washing my hair, boy. 
I love washing my hair. It feels so good. Ooh, so that's what I'm gonna do today. Can't wait. Can't wait. Another thing I wanted to mention is my lock goals. So one of my lock goals is the length. The length. I don't know if my hair grows slow. Well, you tell me what you think. Tell me if you think my hair grows slow or not. Because I'll show you. Like I said, I'll show you how my hair was two years ago to how my hair is now. So you can tell me if you think my hair grows slow. But someone did say, someone commented on one of my videos once and said, in year one and two, it seems slow because your hair is maturing. Your locks are, you know, just doing their thing. They're getting tighter. They're sh it looks like they, sh they might shrink because the coils are wrapped up around itself and the lock is forming. So the locks are getting tighter. In, you know, the hair inside the lock is trapping itself and tangling up itself. So it's getting tighter, which might cause the hair to come up instead of dropping down. But then in year three, from year two to three, three to four, your hair starts to drop down and it starts to look like it's growing quicker. So, so yeah, we'll see because by this year, I was hoping my hair would be woo and woo, <laughs> if that makes sense. I was hoping for more length and more volume. So yeah. My first lock goal is length. I'm hoping for my locks to be mm, maybe here. By the end of next year, I want my locks to be here. By the end of next year. Yeah, by the end of November, 2020, November 2025, I want my locks to be here. Let's see. Another goal is volume. So... I think the top of my hair is more voluminous than the bottom and I think that might be because when I was loose natural I did a texture release but the texture release I left it on longer on the bottom half of my hair compared to the top so I noticed when I first started my locks the bottom of my hair was long top and I think that's because the bottom of my hair was stretched more and the top was still quite tight the coils was quite tight so so I wonder if that's carried on with my locks the top of my locks are feel shorter than the bottom and the top feels more voluminous than the bottom as well so so i don't know if that will change but i would love my hair to be just a bit more voluminous and thicker so we'll see if that changes in the next few years another lot goal of mine Another lot of goal for me would be to wear my hair down more often. Yeah, because I never do that. And I want to start doing that. And I want to do braid outs more often. So I've got four lot goals. Length, volume, braid outs, and styling my hair down. Yeah. So I think that's it with from the video guys. I'm going to do a three, well I've done a 360. I'm going to add some comparisons. So please stay tuned because you'll see how my hair has looked throughout the journey. And yeah. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any advice, any styling tips, any braid out tips, let me know in the comments below as well. 
I love hearing when you guys comment and when you give me tips, it really helps me. I also like advice on what you'd like to see more on the channel. I'm nearly at 500 subscribers. I'm nearly at 500 subscribers. So yeah, that's a big milestone. Also comment down below if you have any ideas on what I can give away. So if you're still watching right now, let me know what kind of thing I could give away because I want to do a giveaway when I reach 500 subscribers. And I'm at 498 at the minute, which is taking me two years to reach. So, so yeah, let me know guys, let me know. Thanks so much for watching.